We see eggs everywhere, in our breakfast, our baked goods, our favorite comfort foods. But at the grocery store, there's one choice that keeps confusing people, regular eggs or organic eggs. They look the same. Both crack open to reveal a yellow yolk, but the price difference can be huge. So what exactly are you paying for when you buy organic eggs? And are they actually any better for you? Today we're cracking open the truth, literally, to find out the difference between regular eggs versus organic eggs. Because behind every egg is a story about how the chicken lived, what it ate, and how farms balance cost with care. So let's settle this once and for all and see what truly separates one egg from another, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the basics. A regular egg usually comes from hens raised in conventional farms. These hens are often kept in cages or crowded barns, and they're fed a standard diet that includes grains, soy, and sometimes animal byproducts. The feed might also contain pesticides or genetically modified ingredients. An organic egg, on the other hand, has to meet very specific standards. The hens must be raised cage-free, have outdoor access, and eat only organic feed, meaning no synthetic pesticides, herbicides, or GMOs in their diet. They also can't be given antibiotics or hormones. Basically, organic eggs are meant to come from hens living a more natural life with cleaner food and more space. That sounds great, but the question is, does that lifestyle actually make the eggs themselves any better? So let's take a look at the nutrition. If you compare a regular egg and an organic egg side by side on paper, the numbers are pretty similar. Both have around 70 calories, six grams of protein, and five grams of fat. Both are good sources of vitamin D, B12, selenium, and choline. But here's where things get interesting. The quality of those nutrients can vary slightly. Studies have found that organic eggs, especially from hens that roam and eat grass or bugs, can have more omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin E than regular eggs. Their yolks also tend to have deeper orange or golden hues, which indicates a higher carotenoid content. That's the same pigment that gives carrots and sweet potatoes their color. Still, the difference isn't as huge as some marketing might make it seem. We're talking about maybe 20 to 30% more of certain nutrients, not double or triple. In other words, while organic eggs might have a nutritional edge, it's not necessarily a night and day difference. What really changes the composition of the egg is what the hen eats. A chicken's diet directly affects what ends up in the yolk. In large-scale conventional farms, hens eat mostly a consistent corn and soy-based feed. That ensures predictable egg production, but limits the variety of nutrients. In organic systems, hens are often given feed made from organically grown grains. And if they're pasture-raised, they also nibble on grass, seeds, and insects. This extra variety is what boosts those omega-3s and carotenoids. So the phrase, you are what you eat, applies here. But even more accurately, your egg is what your chicken eats. Let's get to the part that really matters for many people, the taste. Most blind taste tests show that regular and organic eggs don't taste drastically different to the average person. Some claim that organic or pasture-raised eggs have a richer flavor or creamier texture, but others can't tell at all. What you do notice visually is the yolk color. Organic and pasture-raised eggs often have darker orange yolks because of the chicken's diverse diets. That deeper color can trick our brains into thinking they taste better. But in truth, flavor differences come more from freshness than farming style. A farm-fresh conventional egg 
might taste better than a month-old organic one because eggs naturally lose flavor and firmness over time. One common misconception is that organic eggs are automatically safer. But that's not really true. Both regular and organic eggs can carry salmonella if not handled properly. The safety comes down to how eggs are washed, stored, and cooked, not just how the chicken was raised. In fact, in the U.S. and many other countries, all eggs sold commercially, organic or not, go through cleaning and inspection. The main difference is that organic farms can't use certain sanitizing chemicals, so they rely on milder cleaning processes. If you're cooking your eggs thoroughly and refrigerating them properly, there's no major difference in safety between the two types. Now let's clear up a big source of confusion, egg labels. You've probably seen phrases like cage-free, free-range, pasture-raised, omega-3, and organic, all competing for your attention. But these don't all mean the same thing. Cage-free just means the hens aren't kept in cages, but they still live indoors. Free-range means they have some outdoor access, though it might be minimal. Pasture-raised means they spend significant time outdoors eating natural food. Organic focuses more on feed quality and chemical-free farming than freedom. So when you pick up a carton that says organic, it doesn't automatically mean the hens lived in open meadows. It mainly means their feed was organic and they weren't given antibiotics or hormones. Marketing can make organic eggs sound like a totally different product, but in reality, it's a subtle shift, not a revolution. So what's really inside your eggs? The short answer, not as much difference as you might think, but the story behind them tells you a lot about how food is grown, marketed, and valued. The choice comes down to your values, your taste, and what you believe is worth paying for, because in the end, an egg is more than breakfast. It's a small shell filled with science, ethics, and the story of the farm it came from. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.